I'm going to take a look at GNOME 3.28 as I have it installed in Debian testing on an external hard drive. 3.28 is going to be featured in upcoming versions of Ubuntu 18.04, Fedora 28, and several others, but every implementation of GNOME is slightly different depending on the distribution, and this one may be different than those other implementations. One of the features that's not included in Debian testing, and I understand will not be included in Ubuntu 18.04, is Nautilus 3.28, the latest version of the file manager. According to the release notes, this will feature a star category, which will allow you to select your favorite files or the files you're currently using for a particular project, which may be scattered around through several different folders and subfolders and sub-subfolders. And by clicking on the star category, you'll be able to access them all quickly without moving them around in your file structure. That sounds like a pretty good feature. One of the other features of Files 3.28, as they call it, turned out not to be quite so popular and has met with some resistance during the course of development of these various distributions, and that is that Nautilus 3.28 or Files 3.28 will be the first version not to support desktop icons, and a lot of people still use desktop icons. Debian testing still features version 3.26, and my understanding is that Ubuntu 18.04 will also feature version 3.26, so we'll have to wait for the star feature. The calendar has added some features. If you, if you notice up here in the upper right, I've got a little weather integration here with the current dates. I'm in March 29th, and it shows cloudy, 45.9 degrees Fahrenheit, and it shows the temperature for the next couple of days with rain scheduled for Saturday. And the way to integrate the weather application with calendar is first of all to go to settings, And under Privacy, you want to enable Location Services. It shows that it's in use right now. Of course, you could also turn it off, but if you want to use the weather application, it needs to know a location. So then when you click on the date up here and you get the calendar, Under weather, it's already found my nearest airport, Chicago Midway. So that part is working all right. Then in calendar itself, click on this little menu symbol here, and go down to weather. And I have show weather on and automatic location on. There are other new features in Calendar, but I won't go into all of them. In GNOME Boxes, there are also some new features. Boxes wasn't included by default in the Debian implementation of GNOME 3.28, but I was easily able to download it from the repositories. And now when you click on a new file, you have several options. It gives you two choices highlighted here, Ubuntu 16.04 Server i686 and OpenSUSE Leap 42.2. Actually, neither of those interest me at the moment. You could always select a file from your list of ISOs, or you could enter a URL and download an ISO from the internet. But now there's a pre-selected series of downloads. If you click on Download an OS, 
You can select any of these and it will install them automatically in GNOME boxes. There's quite a large selection. Unfortunately, very few of them interest me and I'll probably end up choosing my own. It does have a few. Uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux, Debian Testing, Debian Testing I86, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed I86, NetBSD in various versions, Ubuntu 17.10, the Live Disk and also the Server Edition, Server I86, various other versions of the server for different platforms. OpenBSD 6.2, FreeBSD 11.1, Fedora 26, Fedora 25 in various versions. Of course, these are all quite old. Alt Linux in various versions. A very odd selection in my opinion. I don't know how really useful this would be for most people, but it's a feature that's there. Under fonts, the default Cantorell font has been improved. The, the design and spacing has been refined and it comes in a lot of versions. Here's Cantorell, Cantorell bold, Cantorell bold oblique, Cantorell oblique, now they say that extra light and extra bold have been added, but I don't see them here. I could be missing something. Now there's a new simplified resource usage utility, and it's called Usage. It wasn't installed in the Debian version of GNOME 3.28 by default, but I was able to download it without any trouble. And as you can see, it's quite simplified. They don't even have any numbers associated with this display here. This shows the processor. This shows the memory. It's pretty heavy on memory usage. And it shows below here what used to be in the task manager, but again, this is a simplified version. And if you want to look at storage, I don't have much data on this particular installation, so it's not using very much space of 156.4 gigabytes on this partition on my external drive. The operating system is only using 7.6 gigabytes and home is using only 754 megabytes. However, the traditional system monitor is also still available if you prefer that. This time they actually show numbers up here. Still uses a lot of memory. Two point four gigabytes out of three point seven with simple screen recorder running. Under accessibility universal access, there's a new on screen keyboard. I'm going to turn it on. And a little symbol appears up here. As soon as I point to an area where I want to type, the on-screen keyboard appears. And if I point away from that area, it disappears. If 
If I click on text editor, you can see the keyboard appears, disappears, and now it's appeared again. And I can use it for writing text. We have a backspace here. Make it disappear willfully if you wish. No, I don't want to save these changes. GNOME software has been redesigned to be a little easier to use with the various categories. And you can sort by different methods, for instance, top rated or name. Those are your two options. So under name you get them alphabetized and under top rated the ones that are most highly rated. Those are just a few of the new features. You can look under the GNOME 3.28 release note for more information, but remember every implementation is going to be slightly different. This is XRAM Tech. Thanks for watching.